Hey everybody, welcome back to N90X. Quick little podcast here on how to get maybe some more out of your ESXi server, especially if you are a Mac user and want to stay a Mac user where your primary driver is a, a Mac. Here's my VMware server. It's at 10.0.1.201. And as you can see, if I connect to it directly from my Mac, I'll get the download vSphere window right here, right? Now, obviously if you're on a Mac, you can't run this unless you say run VMware Fusion or some other virtualization software and run v the vSphere client in a Windows virtual machine, okay? There is no vSphere client for Mac native one. However, one thing that is not exactly the client, but em VMware has produced this ESI, ESXi embedded host client. I'll have the link down below. What you can do is download this technical preview. Basically, it's a beta, beta software, but you install this directly on the server. If you download it, follow the instructions, the installation instructions, which I have to say there is a slight error in the instructions when you download this and uh, extract it you get this big name here the instructions just show esxi ui dot vib so keep that in mind if you have if you have to manually install it from the ssl command line but the instructions are all there once you have it installed then you will go to your host ip address slash UI as I've done here slash UI you'll get the login screen which looks like that put in your credentials click login and now you'll be logged into this embedded host client which looks similar to the vSphere client but it doesn't have all of the same doesn't have all the same capabilities it's very limited to what it can do but if you want to just have a quick view a single pl plane of glass to see what's going on in your server you certainly could come here and check it out right um, I got a gigabit network it's running reasonably fast I wouldn't say it's running super fast but it's running reasonably fast and f that's the first part okay so you have this thing here now a second tip if you don't want to run a virtualized server on your Mac for whatever reason what I recommend that you do is install a Windows machine on your ESXi server and have it boot up whenever you boot up your ESXi server now how do you do that well the truth is you have to go into <laughs> you will have half you have to have installed it first from a Windows machine and once that machine is installed you can use Microsoft remote desktop for Mac which, which I have here and connect that way so as you see here I have a virtual machine that's running on my ESX server uh, Windows 7 64-bit machine on that machine I've installed the vSphere client right and it's running it's running now and I'm connected to it by remote desktop, right? Windows RDP for Mac. Now, if you want to have your machine auto start, what you do is go into your, click on your host, click on configuration, click down here in software on virtual machine startup shutdown, select the virtual machine that you want, click on properties, click on properties, uh, well, so click, click on it, and then move it up. Now I've already I've already moved up the Windows machine into the automatic startup segment. But for instance, just as an example here, WebDoc. If I wanted it to auto start, I would move it up to WebDoc, and then there you go. Um, it's now going to startup is enabled. It'll delay for about 120 seconds, and it'll start up. 
you can configure some of these settings by these various parameters here. Okay, so that's how you would get something to auto start or not. Okay, so let's get out of there. Now, actually, I noticed one thing here. The shutdown action should be guest shutdown. That's what I want it to be. Yep. Guest shutdown. Okay. All right. So that's coming from the V, uh, the RDP from my Mac. So once it's set up, then you can, of course, administer your server from the from the vSphere client running on a virtual machine running on your ESXi server directly. All right. That's uh, the tip. But as I said, if you want to run it from the web browser, this is all web-based, you can get in there, log in, And screen update is you know reasonable for for what you got here. There's my Vsphere client. Let's go full screen. You can see it's it's not as fast responding as fast as the RDP connection which you you know wouldn't expect it to run faster but at least from this interface here you could start and stop virtual machines so so I am now controlling I am controlling this vSphere server through this web client so I'm, I'm actually connected via web client. I'm not connected via RDP. And now I have the full power of the vSphere client remotely. So it takes so two steps, right? The first step is to install the Windows machine on the ESXi server. Tell the ESXi server to launch Windows at startup. Install the vSphere client on that virtual machine. And there you go. Now, through a web browser, without using RDP, I'm able to access the vSphere client on that virtual machine and administer the, the, the server. So it's it's pretty reasonable solution if you want to be 100% Mac-based and not using any RDP client. All right, well, thank you for watching. I hope this video has been helpful. Hope it gives you some ideas on what you can do if you're a Mac user and want to use ESXi server in your lab environment or wherever. And I'll see you in the next video.